Right. Um, I had some interesting comments recently on the channel. Well, derogatory comments. Um, I was a twat for a start. Uh, nothing will ever change. You've changed nothing. You're not going to win because you've changed nothing and nothing will ever change. <laughs> um, you just grasp bailiffs up and then hide behind your door, hiding from bailiffs. Um, all the same person. And interesting, I, d I just hid the comments because I didn't think they were really... I can handle criticism. That's great. But, I mean, these, these were just quite sort of um, poisonous type comments which didn't have any sort of backing behind them. I mean, they, they were just... It was just abuse, basically. So I just hid the comments and then when I went to look at who had posted them it was an account with no videos no subscribers and apparently i'd already blocked them so i can only assume um it was someone who'd, who'd i'd already blocked which i did quite recently who then made up another profile but of course because it was coming from the same ip address i'm not sure but um, what I wanted to do was, there will be more stuff uh, this weekend, I'm sure. Um, what I wanted to do was talk about the murder of Joe Cox, MP. Um, vile, vile, horrible thing. Right. I mean, I, I don't like MPs. I don't think that's a secret. Um, if she was my local MP she would have uh, received a letter from me um, stating 30 years worth of theft in the public purse carried out by council employees and she would have written back and said oh that's not my job that's what Jonathan Ginogli MP did um, I mean it's no great loss to me I've never even fucking heard of her to be honest before the other week um, but it was a government hit. Make no mistake. But this was this was a targeted operation carried out by, shall we say, operatives of Whitehall. Um, to forget all this shit about this insane bloke who was mentally ill. Who do you ever notice? With a lot of these cases, they they suddenly find a bloke wandering down the street sometime later two streets away. Is that just fucking coincidence or what? I mean, you know, I, to some extent I do feel sorry for them and I do feel sorry for her family. That's, that's a great loss, that's a great shame, but On the other side of it, what do these people actually expect? You know, they're, they're bringing in all these laws that you're a minute, if you're on benefits and you're a minute late for an interview, they cut your benefits. People are starving to death. People are hanging themselves. People, you know, bedroom tax. I, I just don't even get me fucking started on it. Um, so, like I say, I mean, no, no fantastic great loss to me sitting here now doing this um, I'm sure another MP will spring up to take her place what fucking amazes me actually is um, oh all the MPs are oh wailing and crying oh what a great loss to our society a rising star MP oh god murdered in her prime I don't give a flying fuck all they're interested in is the next fucking house. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know what's worse. That they don't care about us. Because that's completely fucking blatant. 
The MPs aren't the slightest fucking interested in the general public anymore. They're only interested in scoring points off each other in the House of Commons so that they can get into power. Because when they get into power, they've got the keys to the kingdom. So they can get more money out of the Treasury to run their own fucking party. Or that they're pretending to be fucking concerned about her. I mean... Anyway, I'm, I'm getting detracted from the point. To, to forget all this fucking crap about an insane bloke who was mentally ill, who was on benefits. Right, it's just a fucking stitch up. Right, even if it was that guy, right, he's now got a few quid in the bank, believe you me. Right, but it's not unknown for these people to use their own fucking agents. Someone they've just fucking sacked, or someone has just been disgraced, or just use their own fucking agent and make out like they've been fucking sacked or disgraced, and carry out this shit. Wake up, people! Fucking wake up! This is a government fucking hit. This was directly carried out by fucking Whitehall. And if you want to call, come round and call me a fucking liar, fine. I don't really fucking care. I shall explain to you the finer intrinsities of how exactly Whitehall goes about murdering its own fucking people. For fuck's sake. I, d I just, I do despair. I mean, you know. This wasn't some random bloke off the street who was a bit pissed off. This was a professional fucking hit. Anyway, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, you know. Right, I'm, I'm gonna wind up now. Uh, as I say, there'll be more stuff. I've got some stuff planned at the weekend for the council case. So do tune in then. And I shall see you all later on.